I see the goal of the communications team as being taking the research that our fantastic experts do and getting it in front of audiences that can make change happen. I'm Lucy Muirhead. I'm the Vice President of Communications at the Century Foundation. I look after all of our communications work from running our website to our media strategy, our events program, everything that goes into communicating our research out into the world. We like to take a fairly integrated approach to how we do communications at the Century Foundation and also a long-term approach. So we like to look not just at how are we going to get this research report in front of the right people, but how are we going to achieve the change that we think is needed based on the research that we've done. And that means building out longer-term campaigns uh, and it means thinking about how whatever it is that we're doing on Facebook that week relates to what we're pitching to the New York Times and what we're talking about in briefings for stakeholders, all of the different functions that we have in our communications team are reinforcing each other, but also that our research is reinforcing over time so that we're actually achieving sustainable change. A great example of how the Century Foundation is approaching communications over the long term in an integrated way is to look at the work we're doing in education. So we have a group of folks that are doing really leading research around socioeconomic school integration. So making sure that kids from low income backgrounds are learning in the same classrooms as kids from middle class and affluent backgrounds. And that's research that we've been doing for more than a decade. And the way that that plays out in a communications context is that each time that we're producing research, we're really thinking about what is the extra bit of information that's needed in this space right now to have an impact on the public debate and have an impact on public policy. So even before the research has started, we'll talk about things like there's a gap in our understanding of this issue and we need research about how many schools are pursuing integration. And so a couple of months ago, we put out new research that counted literally how many districts and schools were pursuing this policy so that we could fill that gap in the public debate and continue to move the needle on the issue. Uh, grateful to the Century Foundation for your leadership, not only on issues of school integration, but on issues of inequality and addressing poverty that I, I think are essential to how we move our country forward. We're always continuing to reinforce our initial launch of a report with things like public events and programming, uh, continuing to pursue the issue on social media and in fact just this week we hosted an event with the US Secretary of Education and that event was a moment where we could tap into a new audience with our research, building on all of the folks that we've been working with for many years to help change people's minds and give school districts the tools they need to actually pursue diversity in reality. I would say for someone at a think tank that's trying to work out how could they do things the way that the Century Foundation is trying to at the moment, um, my best advice would be talk to your researchers really early and really try to understand what is the impact that they're trying to have on policy, not what is the report they're making, what is the research they're writing, but what are they actually trying to change. And then think about as a communications team, what do you know, what can you bring to the table to inform the conversation about how to make that change happen? And so if you know that the audience that this researcher is trying to reach is never going to read a 200 page book, and you know that's what your researcher is working on, talk to them about how you can repackage their research so that it actually works for the audience that they're trying to reach. Talk to them about are there parts of that 200 page book that they could turn into an infographic, that they could turn into a video piece, that they could turn into some sort of different communications piece that will more effectively reach the audience whose minds you're trying to change.